God, we thank you and we magnify you for this word that is tailor-made for our spiritual growth and our development. We ask God to open up our hearts, our ears, and our minds to be attentive, receptive, and responsive to your word. As always, God, we thank you in advance for the healing, the help, and the hope this message will bring to all of us. Our prayer, God, is that our lives will never be the same again, that we will not leave here the same way we came. Make us witness and warriors, testifying saints to your goodness and your grace. And as always, we sign and we seal and we deliver this prayer in the only name that matters, Jesus to Christ. Every heart of a believer said, Amen. Amen. Numbers chapter 14, the 14th chapter of the book of Numbers. Numbers, Old Testament book. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. There you go. There you go. Amen. Numbers, Numbers. Right there at the front of the Bible. Right there at the front. Right at the front. Numbers chapter 14. want to Begin reading at verse number one, commence at verse number three, although we perhaps will pick up a few scriptures along the way. Numbers chapter 14, beginning at verse number one, reads on this wise, That night all the people of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, If only we had died in Egypt or in this desert. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? Look at your neighbor in the eye. If you don't like me, should have sat next to him. But look at him in the eye. Tell him, neighbor, are you serious? You may be seated. You may be seated. Amen. 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 Are you? Are you serious? Come on, give God a hand clap of praise, will you? Amen. Are you, are you serious? Are you, are you, are you serious? You, surely, surely, you, you can't, you can't be, you can't, you can't be, you can't be serious. Amen. All of us have had times in our lives where we've had to even question ourselves. If not, we've had to ask somebody in our nearby proximity, or even far and wide, are you serious that statement brothers and sisters can oftentimes be made or ascribed to a situation that perhaps we don't either understand or perhaps that we would need more clarity to are you serious in situations and circumstances brothers and sisters can take place in all of our lives that would even wonder and even cause us to ask god is he serious yeah. Because God has a sense of humor. God has ways that are not like our ways. God's thoughts are not like our thoughts. God's time is not like our time. And because, because, because God does not operate when we tell him to operate, God does not move. Seemably when we ask him to move, God does not do what we ask him to do because it's our time. Because we think rather it's our time and not his. Yeah. Because God does what he wants to do when he wants to do it, how he wants to do it. In other words, God has what? Sovereign power. So God's sovereign power. God is sovereign. God has his sovereign will that serves his sovereign purpose. And if you're not falling in his sovereign will, if you are not uh, 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 doing uh, the will of God, God uh, has ways of letting you know that you need to what? Get back in, back in line. There are some things, brothers and sisters, that even you've had in your life. Uh, you've had to ask God, are you serious? God, I see you. God, you have a sense of humor. God has the, uh, the ability to make us smile at 3 o'clock in the morning and make us cry at 6. Talk back to me if you can. Uh, 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 seemably seasons in our lives can bring up uh, about uh, certain reactions. Uh, uh, sometimes we cry, sometimes we frown, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad. Am I talking to anybody in here? Uh, if I took a poll in here this morning, uh, there will probably be half of you uh, who are in a real good place in your life right now. He's passed off, I'm in a good place, I feel pretty good, children are doing fine, my health is doing well, everything is good, I'm hippopotamus happy, excited and delighted, and I'm gorilla glad. And perhaps there's another uh, brother, half of you, who say, Pastor Dawson, you know what, uh, 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 I'm in a bad season in my life, my health ain't doing too good got a bad report from the doctor as a matter of fact i'm sitting in this place listening to you talk just heard the choir pre uh, uh, sing and i'm wondering if god really gonna heal me. come on help me here if god really gonna heal my body uh, uh, don't mean i don't have faith i'm just troubled in my mind so much so that i have to ask god god are you serious 
talk back to me if you can. Uh, do I have any honest folk in the building? I'm going to be out here in just a minute. Do I have any honest folk in the building? You've had to ask God, God are you really serious? Uh, you mean to tell me I'm going to get a pink slip uh, after I've donated and given uh, 30 years of my time and my talents on a job? Are you serious, God? Uh, you mean to tell me uh, that my child's still going to go and take wrong directions in life uh, after I know I've spent all of my life bringing my child to church, uh, bringing my child to church, praying over my child. You mean to tell me they going to still end up in jail? Look at your neighbor and say, are you serious? You can't be serious. You can't be. You, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you just cannot be serious. I mean, 2020 just started. You would think that I wouldn't, huh? Be going through all that I've been, huh? been going through in 2020 just started and I look on Facebook folk talking about how good life is folk buying new houses in the 2020 folk buying new cars in the 2020 huh folk got their mouth open so wide you can see all of their 32 come on help me in huh and you can even see that little dangler dangling in the back of their mouth uh, because their mouth is open wide open because they want the world to know uh, that God is blessing in the 2020 and I wish I had about 20 folk in the building who can testify I may not have what you have I may my health might not be like your health I may not be driving what you drive but my God is still blessing me even right the Lord is blessing me right now uh, huh? Huh? last week this time some of you were in the hospital now you're out of the hospital look at your neighbor and say God is good Woo, talk back to me if you can, huh? 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 I made three trips to the hospitals this week and I wasn't the one with my name outside of the door. Look at your name and say, God is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth <laughs> endureth to all generations. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Y'all give me just a few minutes. The children of Israel, Numbers chapter 14, the children of Israel, as you know and as I know, have issues. They have issues by way of their mind. Their understanding is bad. Huh? Their memory is short. Uh, they have memory deficits. They have mind deficits. They have de deficits, rather. They have issues, brothers and sisters. Uh, and the reason why they have issues uh, is not because of anybody else around them. Uh, it has everything to do with the person uh, that they are. Did you hear what I just said? Most of the time, the person or the issues ain't with nobody else in the church. It's with the person that's sitting in your seat. Now, can I put a pin mark right here and help y'all real quick? This message is for honest folk. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say, are you serious? This message is for some folk in the building who really going to be honest with themselves. And when you leave here, you can look at yourself and say, Pastor Doss, you know what? You sure all right. Huh? You, you, got, you got me. All right, pastor, you got me. You show sure right. They're, they're messed up, yeah. tore up, and they live life in such a fashion that it seemingly goes in a seesaw fashion. One day they up, next day they down. One day they in, next day high. One day they hot, next day they cold. Isn't that uh, indicative of how we live our lives, brothers and sisters? Uh, huh? Nobody has to wonder if you got everybody's attitude is good on payday. But when you don't have enough, come on, help me in here, huh? huh? To pay your bills and pay they ain't for another two weeks. How you gonna act? Okay, y'all ain't got to say that. Let me talk. I, 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 I said this is for honest folk. How you gonna act, brothers and sisters, huh? When folk need something from you and you can't give it to them because you don't have the resources. Huh? Folks' attitude gets bad when they, they, when they can't do what they need to do. Am I talking to anybody in here? You know what, you know what, you know what, you can, you know how you can tell when folk broke? You can tell when folk broke because when you ask them for some money, they get mad. <laughs> 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 
Look at your neighbor and say, ooh we." Look at another neighbor and say, are you serious? Now, when they just got paid or they got a little money, just got their income tax or something like that, you know what they do? Huh? You ask them for $20, you know what they say? Here, uh, uh, here. How, how, how much more you need? <clears throat> Folk get mad at the pastor for asking them to give tithe when they're broke. You ain't got to say, man, just look at a man and I'll understand. Huh? Folk don't have an issue giving, but when they don't have it, that's when they really have the problem. Are you in here? Watch this. Can I help y'all real quick? Can I help y'all real quick? Huh? Uh, listen, listen. Most of us would give if we stopped acting like we got everything going on. Okay, okay. Ro okay. I, old folk, you say Rob and Peter to pay Paul. Try, huh, huh, trying to live like the Joneses, and I'm still trying to figure out who the Joneses is. Are you in here? Huh? Come, huh? I'm trying to live like Jesus. The Joneses ain't, oh, the Joneses don't have a bank account that don't run out. Jesus does. And so before you go around trying to measure your status against what somebody else has going on, you don't know the hell that they had to go through to get what they have. You want more money? Go to school. Did I say it? Come on, help me in here. Huh? Huh? You, you, want, you want to upgrade on your job? Get the certificate. Huh? Because the only thing that school says about you is that you are disciplined enough to give your time, talent, and treasure. I'll wait. I'm too old to go to school. No, you're not. I graduated with a brother that was 82 years old, got his Master's of Divinity degree. Can I help y'all in here? If an 82-year-old booger can stay in school as long as I did, get his degree, come out and still doing fine, what's your problem? Are you in here? As long as God has given you a reasonable portion of health and strength and you got saneness in your mind, surely you can do whatever it takes for you to give back to God what he's given to you. I know I'm preaching. You ain't got to say, man, I'm almost out of here. I'm almost out of here. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. They complained. They criticized, they fumed, they fussed, they grumbled, they growled, they moaned, they groaned. Upset. Mad. And one word culminates their anger. One word culminates it. Starts with an A, ends with a D. Afraid. Scared. Are y'all in here? Folk do strange things when they're afraid. I ain't got that much time. Y'all got to help me here. I said folk do strange things when they're scared. Are you in here? Folk become hoarders, Deacon Scott, when they're afraid because they feel as though if they give away what they have, then the God who gave it to them can't give them more. Look at your neighbor and ask him, are you serious? And then we grew up in a time where the old folk used to say, baby, there's no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he can do the same thing for you. Huh? Grandma would say, baby, look here. If he did it today, he can do it tomorrow. If he gave it to you today, he can give it to you tomorrow. Huh? If he healed you yesterday, he can heal you today. If he healed you yesterday.